Hey, we have here today a really quick integral. We've got the integral from minus one to one of arc sine of x cubed dx. Okay, so this was gonna be quick, but this is actually one that we can do in like one second. So for my one second method, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put down the answer and this is gonna be just zero. Okay, so it's nice to do this in two seconds, but we actually need to know why this happened. So, so the reason I was able to integrate this to zero is because this is actually an odd function. And so let's just look at the properties of odd functions for a moment. Okay, so first we have this definition here for the odd function f of x. And the way this is gonna work is if we input just the negative of x, we get back the negative of the whole function f of x. So if our function meets this criteria, then it's odd. And then we can use this property with integrals, again, where f of x is an odd function and we have symmetric bounds around the y-axis, then we can say our whole integral is zero. So this is the property that allows us to do an integral in two seconds, because once we identify that it's odd, then we can jump right to our answer of zero. But then one question you may have before we finish for real is how do we know that this is actually an odd function? Well, now there's a quick way to do it. Now, first of all, if you recognize that x cubed is an odd function and you recognize that arc sine is an odd function, well, the composition of odd functions is also an odd function. So that's kind of the quick way to identify it, determine that this is odd. Now, if for some reason you weren't sure, or you didn't know that arc sine was an odd function, let's say, well, you could just go through this process of proving it. So we can say our function is gonna be this whole thing here, arc sine of x cubed. For this property, what we wanna evaluate is f of minus x. So then what we can do is we can just take our function and we'll plug in minus x here, just being careful. And then first, just dealing with the inner part here, when you cube out minus x cubed, you actually just get minus x cubed. So that's nice, and we'll have our arc sine on the outside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna call this f of minus x, I'm gonna call this y just to make it easier to work with. So then what I can do is take sine on both sides of this equation. So on the left side, we'll have sine of y. On the right side, sine of y and arc sine, those will cancel out minus x cubed. Well, then I can multiply a minus one on both sides. So we'll change that to a plus, change that to a minus. But then if we just know that sine is an odd function, what that's gonna allow me to do is take my minus sign and bring it in here like this. So then just to make it really clear, we notice that we have sine of minus y equal to x cubed. But now we can take the arc sine on both sides. So then on the left side, we're gonna have minus y. And on the right side, we're gonna have arc sine of x cubed. And then again, I'll multiply both sides by minus one. So that's gonna change that here. And that's gonna change this here. But again, y is just f of minus x. And then on the right side, we're gonna have our minus sign, but this here, the arc sign of x cubed, well, we define that right here to be just our f of x. But this here that we've just shown, this is our definition of an odd function that we have right here. So we've now shown that this is odd and it meets this criteria of symmetric bounds, odd function. So the solution again is just zero. So that's it, one second integral, five minute explanation. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.